Self-driving -drive vehicles may be a thing of the future, but that day is coming sooner than we may think. Yes, Abby Carnavali is getting answers. I have a lab in UMass that's got research in Truth Central. Oh. <laughs> so ah. now? And then I can take my foot off the gas, right? You can take your foot off the gas precisely. <laughs> we're driving, <laughs> but we're not. Western Mass News visited UMass Amherst to learn more about their driving simulator. Working alongside the Department of Transportation, they're testing possible traffic patterns and driver response to them. Oh, this is perfect. This? With this, we are testing your response to bicyclists. Oh, nice. Okay. So you had the automation on, you saw that there was something in the middle of the road, and you turned it off, right? That was the proper response. Dr. Shannon Roberts leads a team of graduate students and the simulator. In 2023, the U.S. Department of Transportation chose the UMass Transportation Center as New England Region's University of Transportation Center, equipping them with a five-year, $15 million grant. Very impactful as a researcher, you know, and to be even careful on how I'm moving my research to the front because a lot of policy changes around these research findings, right? Graduate students like Jaji Pamarthi now use a stripped down vehicle ran by computers, cameras, and a projector. It shows a 360 degree scene while study participants test new traffic patterns and automated driving technology. The other fun piece is different age groups come in here. So the older to the teens. So it's always nice to see how all of them learn these technologies and also how they drive. The simulator regularly hosts study participants and they measure driver reaction times and gestures to new traffic patterns and software. It's like automated or self-driving technology, something many are still feeling out. It's on the horizon, it's in our future. We know that more technology is being put into cars and overall, if people use it appropriately, then it is safe yeah. and it will reduce crashes and injuries. A lot of our work in that space is focused on teaching people how to use it. According to the National Highway Safety Administration, just over nine driverless car crashes occur per million miles driven. While promising, Roberts tells Western Mass News we're far from completely driverless roads. When you combine how long people keep cars along with how long it takes this technology to be mandated inside of cars, in general, that's about 20 years. Humans, which are the main drivers of our cars today, are extremely unpredictable. Automation is built upon the premise that an algorithm is controlling how the car drives. But when you have an algorithm trying to predict unpredictable humans that are driving next to it, that's a really complicated problem. Still, the promise of a safer world is enticing to new students and future engineers. This program is just the program of the future. I was really impressed by the research. Incoming graduate student Inti Becic lost her family members in a car accident due to adverse roadway patterns. Now she's studying to prevent it from happening to someone else. A lot of people, they think that the way to save lives is going into the medical field and that was originally actually what I did. Um, and I wish that I would have known that I could have done engineering and had an impactful effect in the world, um, especially with something like driving. It's, it happens every day. Everyone drives multiple times a day. For Roberts, she's turning her love of cars and driving fast into a profession. She's teaching the next generation about next gen driving. I hope my students learn the fact that we teach them these theories and these principles and classes that seem so far-fetched and not realistic. And here, when they're in the lab, they get to apply those theories and principles to something that almost everyone experiences on a day-to-day -day basis. Reporting in Amherst, Abby Carnavali, Western Mass News. And if you would like to get in the driver's seat at UMass Amherst Simulator, you can find it at westernmassnews.com. From there, just click the blue SC9 TV button.